Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at adding ballast. The bear hull was placed in the bath, ready for the ballast to be added. We'd established how much ballast the bear hull could take. Now it was just a case of using lead and pouring it in the areas I thought would keep it evenly balanced. This is 12 kilos of lead weights normally used to balance wheels when you have new tyres fitted. The plan was to spread it evenly throughout the hull, bearing in mind that there's still the deck and the superstructure to be added, so this is extra weight up top. So that's 12k added, and it looks looking good quite low in the water but that's what I want real life tugboats are very low in the water time for the deck and superstructure this would just be laid in place I'm trying to see how it affects the balance at this point. First glance it seems okay. We'll try and get a look at the water line now. See how much space we've got between the water line and the sides of the boat. There is a term for this, but I can't think of it offhand. So I'm having a little look at the displacement, how the boat sits in the water. This is, of course, flat cam hard to see the water level that's a bit better say again this is flat cam conditions it's only going to be used on a lake so there isn't going to be massive waves but there is an element to wind so there will be some movement on the stability another angle checking the displacement the stern of the boat is high and actually sits above the water line, giving it a rock to see whether it 
maintain stability. It's good to see that it's bottom heavy and doesn't roll over at the first rocking. And it seems to damp down quickly. So ballast added. Initial tests look good. Thanks for watching. Join me again soon.